Welcome to the Ron Burbany channel and in today's video we're gonna try a bottle that I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite a while. A little late to the party but without further ado, the Gym of Kentucky. bit about Two Times Oak. This is a brand created by Dixon Deadman, who is a master blender at the age of 42. It's pretty young in the game. Jim of Kentucky. Let's read a little bit about the back of this bottle. Jim of Kentucky series is made up of hand-selected single barrels from my proprietary high rye bourbon mash bill, which I barrel in new oak barrels with varying char levels. Each single barrel expression is unique and bottled just below barrel proof to meet my standards for the most premium release from two times oak. So I let this bottle breathe a little bit. Let's get into the nose here. Ooh, man, that toasted, toasted barrel. Caramel, vanilla, brown sugar. What really comes out is that toasted barrel. Man, that smells so good. Oh man, it's just that rich vanilla, toasted, like sawdust. I don't know if any of you are in uh, Cub Scouts, but it just reminds me of Pinewood Derby. Pinewood Derby, creating that car that sawdust, but it's just a rich vanilla caramel chocolate covered sawdust Pinewood Derby car. Whew. That's, that is a good nose right there. Dixon, you did well here, son. You did well here. So I don't have those Glencairn glasses today, but I want you to see what this looks like. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Onto the palate, boys. Cheers. Very, very wry forward. Middle palate smoothing out. Uh, the the end there, the finish. Very, very oaky. Let me let me get another sip here. Hey, way longer on that second, second sip there. Very oaky finish. Little fruit. Whew. So all in all, pretty good bottle. I, I really enjoyed the nose the most, to be honest. Uh, it just brought me back to my Cub Scout days as a child, uh, creating a derby car for the Pinewood Derby. And um, the palette itself, it, it was pretty good, but for $200, for me, this is just not a buy. I think this bottle should be more priced at $100 to $125. And I, I think Dixon's doing a great job. It's just, this isn't the bottle for me, especially at the price point. I understand as a producer, you know, you gotta factor in the cost of it being more expensive as a single barrel, as well as uh, producing such a nice bottle. It's a beautiful bottle and I, I can understand that. But as a consumer, it's just not there. It's not, you know, at $200 or even $150, a whiskey's really got to knock my socks off. And, and this just didn't do it for me. So I, I want to give honest feedback. I think Dixon's a great blender. This just wasn't the bottle. And um, just my honest opinion. Uh, make sure you leave comments down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what other videos you want to see. Uh, I'd be interested in, in seeing what you guys are, are interested in seeing. Thanks so much, and stay tuned for more videos.